Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 GMC Sierra AT4. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. GMC redefines the off-road space by introducing the all-new 2019 Sierra AT4. For the first time ever, the Sierra AT4 delivers a unique formula of authentic off-road capability and innovative technology paired with premium refinement and a bold appearance expected from GMC. Nice truck, huh? Truck looks great. I just kind of stumbled across the truck uh, and it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. So let's, um, let's check out some colors. Can we stop the drag? There we go. Let's check out some colors. They're showing us right now, we can see that the MSRP, hang on a second, let's check out this MSRP, let's check out some of that stats that we just saw a second ago. Okay, so we can see up here at the top, max horsepower is 420 horsepower, it can tow, this new AT4 can tow up to 9,400 pounds, gas mileage is 15 city, 20 on the highway, and the MSRP starts at $50,800. Okay, now let's go back to the colors. This color is black onyx, as we know. Dark sky metallic. I think I've seen some other Chevrolet trucks, uh, or G yeah, Chevrolet trucks with a similar color, or maybe it was GMC trucks with a similar color. It's not bad. I've seen it on the road. It's not a bad color. Then there's smoky quartz gray, Pacific blue metallic. Then they have their red quartz tent coat, followed by this satin steel metallic. And then finally, Summit White. I don't know if you've noticed, but the price here has always been sixty thousand four ninety five. Yet up at the top there, it said the base price was fifty thousand dollars. So I don't know where we jumped ten grand. Like maybe we'll figure that out as we go along. Let's take a look at the interior because they're showing that there's a, a button that we can click for the interior. So maybe we can see what the interior looks like. Yeah, there's a shot of the interior. Very, very, very uh, General Motors, but but nicely executed. Right, it's not a dig on it. Nicely executed. I don't see heads-up display. I don't know if it's available, but I do see a digital <laughs> digital speedometer. I'm always looking for that stuff because I love heads-up displays and digital speedometers and all that there. Uh, looks like there's some blind spot or something over here. Looks like there's like a little uh, LED kind of light down there in that mirror. Might be some blind spot stuff. All right, so we've seen the exterior colors. I guess, is there only one interior color? I mean, they're not really showing. Let's move on to the gallery. All right, let's just move on to the gallery and take a look at that. And then we'll go through the features, the specs. We may or may not check the accessories. And then we'll jump into our build-in price, okay? Okay, so their gallery looks pretty cool. So you can see they have a nice little sentence and a little explainer sentence below what's going to be surely every vehicle. So it says the factory installed 2-inch lift gives Sierra AT4 authentic off-road capability with a higher stance for improved approach and departure angles. So it's also equipped with all new traction select system with available off-road mode that can be tailored for different driving conditions. They're saying here it's got an athletic stance and a distinguished appearance that takes you off-road in style. It's a good-looking truck, nice and tall. Love these. Uh, love the LED headlights on the GMCs, really. The GMC high-intensity high LED headlamps are unique C-shaped lighting, uh, and they're really, really cool. I like that. I like the C-shaped uh, lighting. It says AT4. AT4 comes standard with four-wheel drive and a two-speed auto track transfer case. It's got that nice dual exhaust integrated into the uh, into the bumper. You can see a nice, I don't know what kind of brand shock that is, but we can see the shocks off the back end. Nice looking truck. Oh, and then the next picture says it it it, it includes an integrated dual exhaust and large corner step footwells in the rear bumper. So the bumpers are real functional. You know, I normally like Ford trucks, but man, this GMC truck is really nice. I actually did the 2019 Ford F-150 Lariat just a few days ago. I'm going to put a link up for you. Uh, moving along, they're saying they've got eight beautiful 18-inch, exclusive 18-inch machine wheels, are off-road capable and available mud terrain rated Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires. Unique jet black perforated leather appointments and Kalahari accents on the interior here oh snappity snap snap now they have heads-up display and it's a good one first in class 
heads up display shows key information they even shows like off-road inclinometer <laughs> pretty cool uh, the AT4 is equipped with advanced technology like high definition surround vision camera. And boy, it's nicely integrated into a very beautiful dashboard. I'm, I don't know if that's leather wrapped, and it probably isn't, but it sure is a nice execution of that. It's really good looking. It's making me change my mind about the Ford trucks. I have to go look at it again. Check this out new rear seat back storage includes two conventional hidden compartments inside the rear outboard uh, seat backs. That's really cool and a nice use of space, isn't it? A gorgeous shot right here. Driver-focused innovation and technology include a heated, leather-wrapped steering wheel and available 8-inch digital driver information center that enhance your off-road experience. So, like, you have your, your regular instruments over here, like your tachometer, or, I'm sorry, your speedometer and your tachometer. But it looks like you have, like, some kind of LCD in information system. Yeah, digital driver information center right here that's going to give you all kinds of stuff and then you can see right up here on the windshield beautiful uh shot of the heads up display and then you've got all your other controls over here for your lights and all that it's a beautiful execution looks very roomy in here too doesn't it okay so we ran through the gallery which was awesome that really like gave us a lot of great information and beautiful photos so now we're going to go through the features and you can see right up here at the top exterior interior so exterior features interior features capability features connectivity features and safety features and so we're going to start with uh exterior and it says that the at4 has got distinctive style athletic stance and a commanding presence and yeah so far there it, it, that's a true story it says this is a full-size pickup truck that can travel confidently off road without sacrificing any premium uh features or sophisticated design yeah, here they're just going over some of those exterior uh, features, right? We know about that two-inch factory install lift. There's the dark, distinguished appearance package, and then high-intensity LED headlamps, right? And those beautiful C-shaped uh, uh, daytime running lamps are just gorgeous, aren't they? Integrated dual exhaust, off-road tires, and exclusive wheels. Okay, moving on to interior, it says uh, you can have your active lifestyle and still enjoy the comforts of premium craftsmanship. Purposeful off-road comfort, dark tinted and textured interior finishes, leather appointments, smart storages. That refines this off-road experience. So we already kind of saw all this stuff. We saw the clever storage space. but And then they're talking about their distinctive style. And if we click on that little information dot, it says the, inf the interior is just as bold as the exterior with dark and premium features that include unique jet black interior with Kalahari accents, dark finished technical aluminum detail, Heated front seats and leather appointed seating, embroidered AT4 badging on the front heated restraints, all weather floor liners. Mm -hmm. I like the truck. Says they got class leading crew cab front head and leg room, uh, rear passenger comfort. What's what's up with that? Says larger rear door openings and more rear seat leg room than previous Sierra models make your passengers feel comfortable with rear vents and heated rear outboard seats. Uh, keep them that way for the long haul so yeah nice really nice they've they've bumped the game up is what they're saying and then game changing technology so you know we got to hit this little information button see what that tells us so what does it say venture off road in the powerfully capable sierra at4 with the added confidence of available technology features designed with the driver in mind so what kind of features they're going to give us some bullet points here so that first in class multicolor head-up display which is awesome i mean that is awesome um, then there's the available first-in-class rear camera mirror, right? That's a Cadillac thing, right? But that is a General Motors. General Motors is Cadillac. Uh, and then there's the available HD surround vision. That gives you a bird's-eye view of the vehicle during low-speed maneuvering. And then there's the 8-inch, available 8-inch, available, so it's optional, 8-inch digital driver informational center, uh, which lets you access the vehicle information you want to see. All right, cool. Let's see what's up with the capability features. So it says, first ever Sierra, it combines powerful engines and technologies for an authentic off-road experience. What about these red tow hooks? Did you notice these red tow hooks? Is that is that just the thing, too, that's exclusive? Well, not so much exclusive, but, you know, is it a little design touch? Or are all the tow hooks red on the GMCs? I wonder. I bet you they're not. 
All right, check this out. Go off the beaten path. When you're ready to leave pavement behind, do it with confidence, knowing Sierra AT4 is equipped to handle the rugged terrain. So off-road suspension and shocks. We got to click the little button on here because we saw a nice little shock when it was going through the water when we were looking at the gallery, and I want to know if they're going to give us some more information about what kind of suspension that this thing's running. No, not really. Yeah, sort of, kind of. So we know it's got the 2-inch suspension or 2-inch lift, and it's got Rancho monotube shock absorbers. And so that's where the shocks that we saw in the back when it was splashing through that creek in that one gallery photo. Okay, so adapt to road conditions. They're talking about what? The two-speed auto track transfer case that includes low-range four-wheel driving gearing that handles a variety of off-road conditions. Comp uh, <laughs> capability without compromise, what do they say here? A locking rear differential helps maneuver out of deep terrain. Available mud terrain rated Goodyear Wrangler tires. Skid plate offers added protection up front and under body. And then there's also hill descent control is activated by a push of a button on the instrument panel. right? And it uses anti-lock braking to help provide a smooth controlled descent in rough terrain without the car just without the vehicle rolling too fast. So that's cool. I like the hill descent feature that just, well, basically lots of, almost all manufacturers seem to be offering on one level or another. Power and strength. So there's a powerful engine lineup. What kind of engine lineup do we have here? So, hmm, there's a new 5.3 liter V8 that's paired with an 8-speed automatic that makes 355 horse and 383 pound-feet of torque. And then there's that six. Then there's a 6.2 liter V8. So there's two gas V8s, but the 6.2 liter comes with a new all 10-speed automatic transmission. It makes 420 horse. 460 pound-feet of torque. And then there's a 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel inline 6 that's paired with that 10-speed, and they don't tell us the horsepower on that. I guess maybe when we get to the specs, we can check that out. And then it says there's an all-new industry-first dynamic fuel management system, which enables the engine to operate in 17 different patterns between 2 and 8 cylinder. Dang! Depending on demand to optimize power delivery and efficiency. I wonder how that works in the real world, though. Uh, the all-new 10-speed transmission has more gears that mean more ratios, which gives Sierra AT4 refined performance and outstanding shift quality. So, yeah, a lot of stuff under the engine thing. I'm glad I clicked that. Strong, capable cargo box, right? So what's, what's this cargo box all about? Best-in-class cargo volume uh, from 62.9 cubic feet to 71.7 cubic feet. It's got a durable, high-strength Roll form steel box. It's got the most innovative tailgate ever. The world's first six function multi pro tailgate offers a fold out step for easy access to the bed. It's got 12 total cargo tie downs rated at up to 500 pounds per corner. Rear and side task lighting, new 120 volt electrical outlet in the bed, a larger corner step footwells. If you don't see that, that's like right here. There's a corner step footwells right there. Um, then the available Carbon Pro, limited availability. What's this? The industry first carbon. Oh, carbon fiber box. Wow. Okay, cool. That's got to be a, quite an expensive upgrade perhaps, huh? Next up, they're talking about this innovative technology. The advanced technology in the Sierra T4 helps improve your driving experience, giving you a heightened awareness of where you are, where you're going, and how you're traveling. So let's find out about this multicolor heads-up display first in class. Look at all the stuff that it'll tell us. So, customizable information low on the windshield. An included off-road inclimeter shows the fore and aft tilt, front tire angle, and left and right tilt, and other information such as speed, tachometer, audio, navigation, low fuel, phone, and safety alerts. Plenty of stuff. I think I might need this truck. It's a nice truck, isn't it? And then they're talking about that available first-in-class rear camera mirror. So, it's compared to traditional inside rearview mirror, this rearview mirror display can function either as a traditional mirror or as a camera screen, helping eliminate obstructions such as people's heads in the back, you know, blocking your view. I drove a uh, Cadillac CT6 that had that mirror, and it's interesting. I, all I'll say is it probably takes some time to get used to that because you're used to the traditional look. So it'll take time to get used to looking at that screen and then seeing a, a video image, basically. Next up, available high-definition surround vision. Uh, this feature provides the driver with multiple views, including a bird's-eye view of the scene around the vehicle on the infotainment screen. So 
Yeah, that's great. During low speed maneuvering, this helps the driver avoid objects or on a challenging trail or just in the city. <laughs> Maybe not bumping into something when you're like, you know, in a tight parking spot. All kinds of reasons on and off the trail, they should add. Here's an all new traction select system. And you can select between tour, sport, off road, and tow haul. Um, so that's pretty cool. It adjusts Sierra's transmission shift points, throttle mapping, and stability track to optimize performance for the situation. We won't watch the video, but they're talking about that the uh, Sierra AT4 is engineered with technology to help make trailering easy. It's got the pro-grade trailing system. We're not going to watch that because it's a video, and sometimes that just doesn't play back well. But they're probably going to tell us a little more information about it that's not a video. Or maybe not. <laughs> Let's move on to in vehicle. Oh, here we go. In vehicle trailering app. There we go. In trailering technologies. Yeah, they're going to tell us a little bit more. Hang on. Okay, here it is. So the new in vehicle trailering app offers a variety of new of unique features to help improve your trailering experience. Okay, so the app is integrated with the accessible. The app is integrated with and accessible through Sierra's AT4's infotainment system. All right, and here is the features that it has, and it's a long list of them. So pre departure checklists. Trailer detection lets you know when the trailer is hitched. Customizable trailer profiles with programmable trailer brake level settings, connection information, maintenance reminders, and trailering alerts. Uh, trailer light sequence tests. Wow. Trailer theft detection alerts. Tow haul reminder and trailer detection. I'm kind of skipping over some of the other bigger things, so you're getting all the high points here. You can always pause the video if you want to make sure you read everything. Uh, trailer electrical diagnostics, available trailer tire pressure monitoring system, and then a hitch guidance with hitch view. And this incorporates dynamic grid lines for the truck and also for the trailer hitch, allowing the driver to zoom in on the hitch for careful maneuvering. Okay, pretty cool. And then they had that trailering technologies. So it served this the AT4 serves up advanced technologies. So available industry first phone companion app. Trailer light sequence test, industry first auto electric park brake assist, and integrated trailer brake controller. Okay, let's move on to uh, connectivity features. Uh, says the Sierra is equipped with lots of advanced technologies, so it gives us the options, uh, some options for staying connected. What do we got here? Available premium GMC infotainment system with navigation and USB connectivity. Let's dig in and see what they're talking about. Simple and easy to use. This infotainment system offers an intuitive interface. All right. And so what does it have? Some bullet points here. Multicolor 8-inch diagonal touchscreen. In-vehicle tailoring, trailering app. Available navigation. So that's optional. It doesn't just come with navigation. Uh, available 4GE LTE. The Wi-Fi hotspot thing. Downloadable in-vehicle apps. And you can connect two devices at once with storage for up to 10 uh, customized profiles and all that driver settings and all of that there. That's pretty cool. USB connectivity. So there's six USB ports. All right. That's cool. That's should be decent. Available wireless charging pad. So it's an option. It's an option. And we'll probably get it. There's that available 8-inch uh, di uh, digital driver information display. It says but position between the ve uh, vehicle's gauges. This helps. This helpful feature presents important vehicle information, including audio, trailer, phone, safety alerts, and traction select system display screen. So, gives you a lot of information right there in that little cluster. There's an available uh, Bose premium audio system. There's a rear seat reminder. So, this activates when the rear doors are open and closed up to 10 minutes before any time while the vehicle is on. When the engine is then turned off under certain conditions, Five audible alerts and a message in the driver information center reminds you to check the rear seat. Then, of course, I'm happy to see, I was wondering, Apple CarPlay. So it's got Apple CarPlay and, of course, Android Auto. Now, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are proprietary systems. What that means is, doesn't matter if it's in GMC, a Ford, a Porsche, a Lamborghini, right, Apple and Android control how it looks on all manufacturers' uh, cars. 
And so if, you, if you've watched any of these videos with me, as I've done these building prices, you'll notice that Android Auto looks the same on this GMC as it does on an Audi or any other car, right? Because it's a proprietary system. So what it can do on the GMC is what it can do in any of these vehicles, just so you know. All right, let's move on. Then there's the available My GMC mobile app, which lets you control many of Sierra's features from, mobile, from your mobile device. And so what can you do? Uh, you can access to you access to the phone companion app, which offers select mobile functionality. Um, you can locate your vehicle. You can remote start your engine. You can check your fuel economy, oil life, tire air pressure. You can send destinations to your vehicle through your smartphone, meaning to like the navigation uh, from your smartphone. So that's nice. Okay, we got through connectivity, capability, interior and exterior features. Last but not least, safety features. So to help you feel confident and on and off the road, the AT4 is outfitted with comprehensive available active safety technologies. Active technologies simply mean that the system will intervene, meaning it'll do more than give you an audible chirp or, or something like that. It'll make it'll either break or control some steering or something like that. So let's see what, what features, what uh, safety technologies there are and what they do. There's available IntelliBeam headlamps in dark driving conditions. IntelliBeam headlamps automatically turn on the vehicle's high beams. When oncoming headlights or taillights are detected, it switches back to low beams. There's a rear vision HD camera, HD being high definition. Uh, the driver can view the scene directly behind the vehicle on the infotainment screen to help the driver park and avoid nearby objects during low speed maneuvering. Now, do these guidance lines turn with the steering wheel, I wonder, or do they just stay straight? Because I find that the ones that just stay straight don't really help as much. And it looks like there's some kind of sonar or something down here. It's showing some stuff that's like around the vehicle, back on the back. I'm not sure what this is down here. It's real interesting, though, isn't it? Then there's the uh, available lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Provides side mirror alerts to the driver. Uh when a detected vehicle is moving in or rapidly approaching their side blind zone during a lane change maneuver. Well, maybe I stand corrective about active or what, what GMC defines as active because they're saying that they're available for a collision alert. Listen, it says if the system detects that a front end collision situation is imminent while following a detected vehicle, it alerts the driver to a potential collision. It also alerts the driver if the driver is following a detected vehicle uh, much too closely. Now, it doesn't say anything about really kind of intervening. All right. Doesn't say anything about intervening, and and to my understanding, that's what an active system means. That eventually, if you don't respond to the alert, that it will hit the brakes or do something like that. Because I have reviewed many cars, hundreds really, and yeah, active so far has always pretty much meant that. And so it's funny that they said active, and this is not certainly active. But yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Now this is a little bit better. Here's active. Available lane keep assist with lane departure warning. It says provides gentle steering wheel turns and lane departure warning alerts if necessary to help drivers avoid collisions due to unintentionally drifting out of the lane when they are not actively steering and their turn signal is not activated. So yeah, that is active. It said that it'll it can turn the steering wheel a little bit if it needs to. Available following distance indicator. This system provides the driver with the following or headway time to a moving vehicle detected in front of the vehicle to help them know if they are following too closely. Yeah, because people, yeah, people need help with that because they're not doing that proper following distance anymore. They certainly aren't. Available front pedestrian braking. If the system detects that the pedestrian is directly ahead and a collision is imminent and the driver has not already applied the brakes, the system alerts the driver and may even, here we go, this is, this is your active, automatically apply the brakes to help the driver avoid or reduce the harm caused by collision. Performance is limited at night. <laughs> it says, hey, we might not get this right at nighttime, though. That's what they just told you. One of my favorite features, available rear cross-traffic alert. Remember, the word available means it's optional equipment. When in reverse, this feature provides alerts to help the driver avoid approaching detected left or right cross-traffic. Here we have what? The available safety alert seat, the GM patented patent safety alert seat provides the driver the option to choose seat bond vibration pulses instead of audible crash avoidance alerts <laughs> okay 
what is this? Available low speed forward automatic braking. All right, here we go. If GMC Sierra AT4 is traveling at a low speed and the system detects that a front end collision situation is imminent while following a detected vehicle and the driver has not already applied the brakes, the system automatically applies the brakes to help reduce the collision severity. The system may even help avoid the collision at very low speeds. So it might actually prevent the accident. And then what's up with this? Available front and rear park assist. When driving below 5 miles an hour, this feature provides distance to object alerts to help the driver park and avoid nearby detected objects so you don't ram into stuff, detected head, or behind the vehicle during low speed maneuvering, like parking. And then they're like, hey, we've got some extra peace of mind here. The AT4 offers helpful services and systems for extra confidence. So what do they have? They have teen driver, OnStar safety and security, and a pro-grade warranty. Yeah, let's, let's find out about these real fast. So the teen driver, which I've always been interested in, this built-in system helps encourage safe driving habits for new drivers. It automatically activates certain available, certain, certain available certain safety systems and allows parents to set limits on other features. There is even an in-vehicle report card that parents can access to help with coaching their teen driver, finding out if they're up there like speeding and doing silly things, or as much as possible anyway, right? Here, there's that OnStar safety and security plan with available OnStar by your side. You'll feel confident and ready for the road ahead with available features such as automatic crash response, emergency services, roadside assistance, and stolen vehicle assistance. And lastly on this features page, the ProGrade warranty to help you feel protected they offer this warranty, which includes the following, a three-year, 36-mile bumper-to-bumper limited warranty, a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, five-year, 60,000-mile roadside assistance, five-year, 60,000-mile courtesy transportation, hmm. and GMC three-year, 36,000-mile uh, corrosion protection, and GMC six-year, 100,000-mile limited rust-through protection. All right. Sounds like a pro-grade warranty to me. Okay, so this mess of a page that you're looking at right here is really actually the spec page. And I just want to check a couple things. I want to see the specs on those engines. Remember, I want to see those engines. I didn't know what horsepower they told us on the uh, uh, for that EcoBoost engine and all that other stuff. So I just kind of want to dig around into that. So let's just take a quick look at the 4.3, the 5.3, all that stuff. So the 4.3 liter V6, because there's a whole bunch of engines, right? Has 285 horsepower, 305 pound-feet of torque. That's a 4.3 liter Ecotec V6. Then there's the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8, 355 horse at 5,600 RPM, 383 foot-pound of torque at 4,100 RPM, active fuel management paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. And then you can get that same engine that comes with the dynamic fuel management technology. Then here's that 6.2 liter engine, right? 420 horse, 5,600 RPMs. Remember, I'm really wanting to look at the RPMs. 460 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPMs. And it already comes standard with the dynamic fuel management technology already. 10-speed automatic transmission. All right, I just wanted to go over those little engine specs real fast. I didn't want to dig through the rest of that stuff. Um, so here we are. We're getting ready to build this thing. How do we want this to look? Crew cab, short box. Crew cab standard box, double cab standard box. How do we want this to look? Hang on a second. Let's see. Well, I was playing with the configurations. Here's the crew cab with the standard box. Here's a crew cab with the short box. And I know I don't want the double cab, so I'm not even looking at that, but I'll show you what it looks like just for the heck of it. And I guess it's not too bad, actually. The double cab's not that bad, but I probably want the extra room of the crew cab. I just don't know if I want the standard bed or a short bed. But you know what? How about this? I think when in doubt, I'm going to go with the short bed because I know I'm not going to move that much stuff. And so, yeah, a truck that's going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit easier to maneuver <laughs> is going to be that much better. So let's do that. And then, of course, we're going to do the four wheel drive. And then what engines? What engines are we talking about here? What does this 2.7 do? It's only got 310 horsepower, 348 pound feet of torque. I'm not really feeling that. What I really want what I really want is the 6.2. I don't even know why I'm goofing around. I want the 6.2 liter. That makes all the big power. Now this bad boy is $57,000 already. So we're about the price of where I was at with that F-150 Lariat that I put the link up to, oh, I don't know, about 25 minutes ago. Ah, and then there's trim levels. I didn't even catch this. So there's a Sierra trim level, and there's an elevation trim level, an SLE trim level, an SLT trim level, and then, of course, our AT4. 
And then there's a Denali. Well, obviously, we're doing the AT4. That's what this building price is about. And so, yeah, we're not going to do the Denali. Let's move on to colors. What color do we like? Let's get a different angle. There we go. What color do we like? Onyx black? No, not on a truck. How about Summit white? Could be cool, but it's too, it's too blank of a canvas. How about, uh, what, what does this satin steel gray look like? Maybe, maybe. Smoky quartz metallic? Maybe. How about red quartz? No. Maybe, actually. You know what? I think I like the smoky uh, quartz metallic. Let's go with the smoky quartz metallic. And then there's only a one color option, interior color option, for the AT4, apparently. And that's the jet black with Kalahari accents, perforated leather appointed seat trim. That's what you get, all right? Next up, we have some packages. There's an off-road performance package. thought this thing was already off-road. Performance air intake system. We already got. We already had the 6.2 liter engine. All right, so what else is there? What other packages are there? There's the AT, AT4 premium package. This gives us wireless charging, the power sliding rear window, the 8-inch diagonal uh, premium GMC infotainment system. That's nice. The performance upgrade. Ooh. Performance air intake system, cat back performance exhaust. I like that. The technology package, rear camera, painted uh, mirror caps, 8-inch diagonal uh, digital driver information center. And then assist steps and tonal package, right? And then there's a preferred package. Then there's a driver alert package. Wow, they got a lot of stuff. They nickel and dime you just almost as bad as a Porsche. Driver alert package. Right. And what else is there? Cargo convenience package. All right. Trailer camera package. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a look at these packages. I'm going to select them. And then I'm going to tell you why I got each one. OK, so there were 10 packages. So there was a lot to go through. I needed to stop and really look at all that stuff real close. So I got the off road performance package because it kind of gave me everything I wanted. Yeah, we already got the 6.2 liter engine, but it gives us the performance air intake system. Then there's that performance exhaust here. Let me show you. There, it gives you quite a bit. It gives you those 18-inch wheels, the good wheels, those machine wheels, and then the performance upgrade is the catback exhaust and an air intake system. So you're out the door. It's already good. Five grand. It's not a bad deal, I think. Then I did the assist step and tonal package, right? So you can see the cover on the back of the bed now, and you can see the steps on the there. And then I did the AT. You know, you looked up here, and there was this technology package for 1800 bucks with a rear camera mirror. Uh, not that one. I'm sorry. The AT4, AT4 premium package, which came with all of this stuff. Well, there's a preferred. There's another package that had all that in there, and so that's what I got. Let, let me show you. There it is. It was the preferred package, which came seemingly came with all that stuff. Look, it came it comes with wireless charging, universal home remote, comes with that eight-inch diagonal premium GMC infotainment with navigation, the Bose, and the rear sliding power window. Fourteen hundred bucks. All right, it's a good deal. Then I got the driver alert package. Right, comes with all kinds of stuff: rear cross traffic alert, perimeter lighting, all that there. Then I got their driver alert package two, which adds on that, which gives you all the safety stuff, where they throw all that safety stuff at you for basically seven hundred and fifty dollars. And then yeah, I finished off with that. I finished off with that, and I think it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Okay, so now we're over at exterior. And you know I love wheels. If you've watched any of my stuff, and they've got 20-inch wheels for an eight for a, for an upgrade, I want the wheels. But are they going to make us remove something? If they're going to make us remove something, what do we need to remove? See, we got to remove all of that other stuff that we want, and I'm just not willing to do that. So I guess I'm going to have to buy aftermarket wheels. So how about that? I'll have to buy aftermarket wheels. We'll leave the 18s on there because I want to keep all that other stuff. Uh, mechanical options. We're going to leave all that stuff as is, the 10 speed, the gear ratio, engine block heater. I used to always say, no, I don't need that. But you know what? For $100, you never know when you might want to plug in. So, yep, let's do that. Um, and let's do the uh, GMC branded brake upgrade system. What does that do? Red Brembo six piston. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun. Three grand. Let's go all in. But what do we need to remove? Nope. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't exactly always build a car exactly the way you want, can you? You can't. All right, so we can't get the upgraded brakes. What can, what else can we do? Let's see what these exterior options are. Let's go ahead and get the wheel locks. Um, do we have, I guess we don't have body color wheel arch moldings. Let's do that. 
Yep, now they look body color. Do we want a power sunroof? Why not? Let's do the power sunroof. And we already have... Do we want front and rear uh, block molded splash guards? Yeah, why not? I want to protect my paint and do all that there. Oh, then we got to remove the body color wheel. No, forget it. We just won't worry about it. Chrome mirror caps? No. Painted mirror caps? No. Uh, rubber bed mat? Nah, I don't need that. Okay, let's move on. Oh, there's still some safety stuff. Uh, front pedestrian braking, we have that. All right, let's move on to interior. We have the upgraded uh, infotainment system, so we don't have to worry about that. We got the bows and all that. Oh, console vault. A locking vault. Yeah, I want that, unless we have to remove something. Nope, we got that. Um, heads up display. I think we have that already, don't we? We have to add the technology package. Oh, I didn't I, I didn't catch that. Ooh, thank goodness. I would have been not happy. All right. Well, let's throw that technology package in. This is an expensive truck, isn't it? These trucks are expensive. Then you see these guys that add these big lift kits and these huge tires. These trucks are just as much as any Mercedes or BMW or expensive Audi. I tell you that much right now. Uh, rear under seat storage. Yeah, why not for two and a quarter? Why not? You can never have enough utility. As long as we don't have to remove something. All right. Uh, safety options. We got them all, don't we? <laughs> we got all the safety options. Let's move on. All right. Now, these are all the GM accessories, General Motors accessories. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at Cadillac, Chevrolet, Buick, or GMC. They kind of throw these kind of things at you where, like this, for instance, these, these different accessories that are unrelated to any particular vehicle and so i showed you that to show you that we don't need to look at all that stuff i'm going to go ahead and skip over all that and we can just go right to the summary all right okay real quick if you like the way that i built and priced this 2019 gmc sierra at4 i'm going to go ahead and print off this uh build summary so it's going to give me a pdf and it's going to download that pdf and i'm going to upload that pdf to my uh to a file sharing site that i use called mediafire real popular well known and then when I upload it there, it gives me a link. It gives me a link to that PDF. And so I'm going to put the link to that PDF in the description below. So if you like the way I built and priced this AT, uh, this AT4, you can download this PDF, take it into your GMC dealer, and say, I want this one right here. All right, so we're all done. I'm going to print this off. And if you've made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, Please have a wonderful, 